A close ally of Russian opposition politician Alexei Navalny says he was close to being freed in a prisoner swap at the time of his death. But the president, Vladimir Putin, could not tolerate the thoughts of him being released and had him killed. Maria Pevchik's comments on Monday echo accusations by Navalny's family and supporters that President Vladimir Putin had ordered his death. Speaking on YouTube, she said talks about exchanging Navalny and two unnamed U.S. nationals for Vadim Krasikov, a Russian FSB security service hitman in jail in Germany for murder, were in their final stages at the time of his death. Alexei Navalny could today, right now, sit in this very place. This is not just a figure of speech. This could have and should have happened. Navalny was supposed to be set free in the coming days because we have had achieved a decision on his exchange. 47-year-old Navalny died at an Arctic penal colony on February 16th. Pevchik said she had confirmation that negotiations for the swap were in their final stages on the evening of February 15th. She alleges Navalny had been killed a day later because Putin could not bear the thought of him being free. There was no immediate comment from the Kremlin, which has denied state involvement in his death. Navalny supporters say his death certificate stated that he died of natural causes. Pevchik is based outside of Russia and has been designated a foreign agent by the country, where authorities accuse her of involvement in an extremist organization. She did not immediately present documentary evidence for her assertion, but did claim that businessman Roman Abramovich had been the one to float the idea to Putin of exchanging Navalny. There was no immediate comment from Abramovich either. Pevchik did not name the two U.S. nationals in contention to be swapped along with Navalny. However, the United States has said it's trying to return Evan Gershkovich, a reporter for the Wall Street Journal, and Paul Whelan, a former U.S. Marine. Russia accuses both men of espionage, something they deny. Putin this month said that talks between Russian and U.S. intelligence agencies were going on behind the scenes related to Gershkovich, but he made no mention of Navalny whose name he does not usually mention publicly.